you are not fat. I just need to say that. You know, I've been watching these uh, threads in the Raw Till 4 forum. And um, I, I'm making this video because I found myself being drawn in to your own bullshit. Right? I found myself being sucked in. Now, it's not everyone. And we're all guilty of it. I'm not throwing, you know, venom at anyone in particular because I've done it myself. But I just wanted to throw this out there to remind you, anybody that's having this idea that you're fat, that you're not fat. Not what I've seen in the forum, right? Because if you're fat and you do raw till four, you're losing weight. You can, if you're properly fat, you lose weight on raw till four, right? But if you're psychologically fat, then you might gain weight on raw till four. Why is that? Because you wasn't fat to begin with. And you're still not fat now. <laughs> That's the funny part, really. You know, I was looking at this uh, post, and I'm not gonna show any anyone's photographs in particular because I don't want this to be about any individuals because I want to support you all in the same way that you all support me but I see pictures that um, here's a good one like this for instance so what I tend to see in this forum is I'll see someone that will start the program like this here and they'll say oh my god I've got so fat on the raw till four diet and then they'll be there or they'll start the program here and they'll go on raw to four and they'll be not even not even as large as that they'll be they'll be looking more round like that and they'll say they're fat and when i see those pictures i was like oh my god this diet doesn't work god they've all got so fat you know the same program that runs in your brains run running in my brain it's the same program that's set up by society, by the way that we talk about weight gain and weight loss and body shapes in this world, that we, we panic into this thing. When in reality, none of these women are, you know, in any way in the realms of what fat is. You know, fat is when you can't tie up your shoelaces, right? Fat is when you can't go out not because you're embarrassed but because you physically can't go out right that is fat fat is when you go up three staircase three flights of stairs and you're done you know if, if we actually go to the to the internet and the, I typed in here woman right you know you've got old women you've got you know most of them obviously pretty because it's the media but we but we still just have a general range of, of, of women there right there's, you know there's quite a, lots of different types of women just comes up now look at this if you type in fat woman right even Google knows what a fat woman looks like like this is this is medically fat you've got some erroneous fit pictures in I watched that down there that's just stupid right but generally you know when someone's fat it's it's medically they're fat they're fat from eating crappy food nobody on raw till four is gonna get fat like this if you think that's where you're headed that's the tra tra trajectory when will this stop wake up from that wake up from that you are not gonna become fat like this anybody who's that fat who does raw till four starts losing weight they start losing weight same thing for Matt, uh, for uh, uh, this other thing, yeah, look at this, right? So, skinny woman, right? Even Google knows what a skinny woman looks like. So you should know what a skinny woman looks like. That is skinny, right? That is skinny. So if you come to this to this lifestyle, or and that's your before picture, and you got there through calorie restriction by eating like mm, the other found. You know, you're eating the smallest amounts of food you can to desperately keep away from the dreaded fat. Then where else can your body go? Where else can it go? Right? Up in this thread that I saw 
recently or whenever it was. I don't want to pick on anyone in particular, as I said. The, the before picture was like this. And the dialogue was like, you know, I came to this lifestyle because I wanted to get rid of all this fat. And I was like, where, oh, what, where, what, oh, what, what fat, fat? Where, where, what fat? <laughs> there wasn't any fat. There was no fat to begin with. So, you know, be realistic with yourself. Be realistic with yourself. Look at the kind of media bullshit that we get fed. You know, this, this kind of comparison here. Right, and then this is a good one. I love these Barbie dolls. This is this is a normal Barbie, and this is the other Barbie. Like how we're brainwashed into what 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 body shapes should be like. They both wear about the same. They both wear about the same. They just got different structures, but we're sold one as being an ideal. It's very powerful. Um, and this is really interesting. This is this is a, a medical procedure that you can undergo that takes away your fat, fat, from here and puts it on your bum somehow. Like it's a fat <laughs> redistribution. But they both look like, if you didn't know, if I didn't tell you what that article was about, you wouldn't know what that article was about. And they've got another one here. What's the difference? <laughs> I mean, there is a difference. But not to the point that it's a problem in it's a, it's a problem in your life, you know. It's um, same for guys as well. Like this guy is so proud of himself because he's got so lean, right? But you know, I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with that. I'm happy with what I've got anyway. But you know, they both look good. Um, what else have I got here? That's fat. This is fat's gonna kill you. This is this is this is deadly fat, right? But that person would lose weight on a raw to four diet. This is me. That's fucking deadly fat. That's when I got the diabetes and all that kind of stuff. That's my fattest. I'm about 45 pounds heavier there, right? That's like a man on, on, on his way out. That's fat, right? And, and that's fat too. I'm not picking on these people. I'm just showing you that you're not going to get... I didn't get like this on a raw to four diet. Nor did he... And nor did she. No one got there like that, eating fruits all day and then rice in the evening. Nobody. And you won't either. Right? Look at that. That is deadly fat. That is from animal products. From, from having a binge eating disorder. From running wild with toxic foods. That's not going to happen to you on any of these diets. Oh my God, I'm like so fat. People do really think this. Now, I'm, I'm not saying you don't have a right to have mental problems. We all do, right? But just let it, let it make it fun. When you hear that voice telling you you're fat and you're posting a picture almost as if someone's in your house is going to rob you, right? And, and that's the panic that you have. And, and it's a picture of you looking pretty good and really good, whichever which one you prefer. Right? It's two pictures of someone looking good and pretty good. Right? And you're in distress. Recognize that that is what you want to deal with. That's what you want to deal with. You know, I learned, I've, I've been overweight for 15 years and I couldn't beat, I couldn't find a solution to the, to the body. But I found a solution to not beat myself up, to, to love myself anyway. Look at when I went to the Raw Till 4 Festival, right? There was a few of us there, like overweight people, and amongst all these like really lean you know, vegans, whatever. I just had a blast, man. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. They're all there to support you anyway. You just have fun. Four till four type fruit festival. I'm here right now and the best of all. There's so many fruit bats here too. Loving life and living on fruit. You just enjoy your body as it is. That is the point, you know. And it's like this guy here, right? This is a before and after. 40 days into this guy's weight loss journey. Now, there's not really much difference, really, is there? But he's pretty proud of that. That's that's fat. Fat's when fat is when your be your after picture doesn't look any different from your before picture, and you've lost about fifty pounds, right? The only way I can tell this guy's lost weight because his belly's shorter. When you're measuring your belly in inches, that's when you know you're fat. Like, how, oh my God, my, my belly's six inches shorter. 
That's when you know you're fat. And again, he did not get there doing Raw till 4 at all. In fact, he's losing the weight, right? So some basic principles. I took this from one of Freely's videos. I just wanted to point this out. Use common sense, right? It says aim for 1,000 calories per meal. Common sense. Why do they put that on there? Because they know the majority of women, right? Now, there are men involved in the Raw Till 4 program as well, but it's come from Freely's experience and a female perspective. Women calorie restrict. Your brainwashed to calorie restrict. Guys are kind of getting that brainwashing as well, but... For me, when I was, you know, getting overweight, it was it was okay to eat pizza. It's quite macho, but women calorie restrict. So their aim is to end calorie restriction. That does not mean become a binge eater. I know that they make jokes about binging, but they're jokes. They're jokes because the advice that you will get if you go into the Royal Till Four Forum and you have a food diary of a thousand, you know, uh, sorry, five thousand calories a day, and you're a five foot two woman, they will say. Your dinners are looking a bit big, right? Nobody's telling you to eat as much rice as you possibly can. They're saying to you, do not calorie restrict. <clears throat> so I'll give you an example from, from me. Um, I have to calorie restrict this diet and I don't want to. I have to break that rule, but it's not because of weight loss. It's because of diabetes. So right now, my car I call it carbability. My carbability isn't high enough for me to get that much fruit and rice into me without my blood sugar going up to like 12 and 13. So I'm doing mine in stages, but I'm still applying the principles, but I'm doing mine in stages. And I've got to tell you, I'm so jealous of you lot, the ones that can smash on 5,000 calories of fruit. I'm so jealous of you. If I could do that, I'd be eating all day because I know it's going to work. And I've, and I've been fat and I've made my life work fat and I know you can have fun fat and you can do really cool things fat and you can be a great person fat and you can find great partners fat and have great friends fat and make money fat and travel the world fat. You can do all these things fat. None of it matters, right? So if I, if, if I could find a way to get this fucking fruit in me without my blood sugar spiking all the time, I would do it and that's what I'm working towards. So if you have the ability to eat lots of fruit and lots of greens and drink loads of water and eat loads of carbohydrates and it's not spiking your blood sugar do it do it now just do it now right because it's going to heal you it will heal you and the other thing here so i know what the point was if you're getting if you're putting on loads of weight doing 5000 calories eat 3000 calories it's still within the guidelines <laughs> right it's still within the guidelines <laughs> Step three. Step. This is another one of Freely's video. Step three. Start a thirty-day raw to four challenge. Write down your health goals. Not. I keep pointing at the screen, but I know you can't see it. Not weight loss goals. Not weight loss goals. Now, it's the hardest thing in the world to not have a weight loss goal. I've got one. Right. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. But you don't have to give it power. You don't have to let it override your health goals. So you want to have clear measurements. So in some ways I'm lucky that I'm diabetic. Because that's wiped out my weight loss goals completely. Completely. My only goal now is to get my blood sugar down to normal levels. On a permanent basis all day. Right? But you find you what your health goals are. And, and, and focus on them because the weight loss goal you can't get rid of it it's always there but don't let it don't let it come to the foreground because it will make you feel unhappy and you'll be back to calorie restricting before you know it and that is the problem that is the cause and you don't want to go back to the cause you want to stay with a solution right okay this is this is me uh, weight loss so far 326 down to 283 pounds Right now, I'm happy with that. Right, you know, you know how long that took me. <laughs> that took me about four years, about four years to do that. Right, of yo-yoing, yo-yoing massively, calorie restricting, bouncing around, trying all these different things. Right, so why bother with such a stupid goal? 
such a stupidness goal. And I wasn't really any happier at any of those ways. They were more, more, pretty much the same. You know, I can. It feels. It does feel better here, so you get that bonus. But but this is chronically fat. You see, this isn't fat like you're posting in the forum. This is this is this is like a football. Not even a football. A beach ball up the belly fat. You know that that's like diabetic fat, right? I don't know what else I've got. Oh yeah, so this this picture, right? It's a very old picture from Marks and Spencer's advertising campaign, and I like this one because when you don't think about your body, you just have a lot of fun. You know, and most of the time you don't think about your body. So stop thinking about your body, right? Stop having it as a question. How is it? Like, what does it look like? You know, just, just nourish yourself. Put loads of vitamins in your body. That's all you've got to do and shut the fuck up. Loads of vitamins in, loads of water and shut up. And at some point it's all going to rectify itself. But it won't if you let your meddling mind get in the way. Measuring every fucking day. Oh my God. Am I fat? Oh shit, I'm getting fat. Oh my God, I'm getting so fat. Oh my God, I'm getting so fat. And you look like that girl there. Or any one of these women. None of them are fat. None of them are fat. You know? They've got body fat on their body. But none of them are fat as such. So, I just wanted to put this little video together. Just to, just to say that basically, you know, get over it. Get over it, you know. Go for health. And, and I don't want to be, I want to support the idea because I, I know how difficult f uh, binge eating disorders, food eating disorders, anorexia can be. I've never been anorexic, but I do understand the trouble that that can cause. And, and what I see in, this, in the Raw Till 4 uh, program is that um, all dietary programs attract people that have had issues with food. And, and the Raw Till 4 program, more than any other, I feel attracts people with, an, with more of an anorexic type eating disorder background calorie restriction trying to get thin so when you see pictures of feel freely looking really thin it's sparking you it's getting you so excited about this and you're coming to it with the idea that it's going to be healthy it's almost like you've discovered an anorexic loophole like oh my god i can like eat loads of food and make everyone happy but i can be skinny like an anorexic no right you, and you know you've got this attitude when you start complaining that you're putting on weight. When you start complaining that you're putting on weight. And you're scared to do this lifestyle because you're putting on weight. This is the fundamental door you have to walk through, in my opinion, to make a healthy change. It doesn't matter whether you're from anorexia or bulimia or binge eating or whatever. You have to get over the numbers of what your body weighs and what it looks like even. You gotta move past that and get in touch with yourself, like how you really feel, you know, what's really going on inside. And and let that be your barometer of success. Let that be your barometer of success. I, c I can't no longer trust body size as any measure of anything about me other than the size of my body. That's how little information that number contains it contains nothing nothing for me my measure of success is am i relaxed while eating food that nourishes me without any fear or panic or stress or even wondering what you know is it working right that's my internal barometer of success and the only other one that I have is my blood sugar. And that's because it's medical. So for you and anybody out there who's scared of trying this program or scared of doing this, that is the problem. That's your problem right there. And there's no point bringing that, that problem to this diet because all you're going to do is you're going to you know, find yourself putting on a couple of pounds, two pounds or three pounds here and there and saying it's not working or you're panicking or whatever but you said that your goal was something else but now you're getting overweight, the noise starts, you're getting fat, you're getting fat and your goals change, right? When you can go through that, then see what happens. Right now, I'm not an expert on raw to four. I find it hard to do, and, and I've got other issues as well. And I don't even know it, even if you will end up as as lean as as freely. But I trust the people who have. I don't think this is a community of liars. 
<laughs> it would be quite a weird thing to do, right? But that's not the point. The point is that you have to trust. You have to become the kind of person that can do this, that, that can gain weight and not worry about it. That will be worth more than the lean. That will be worth more than being lean. If you can gain weight and not worry about it, that is more money in your mental bank than being lean. Right, you know, I, I discovered this and when I just stopped caring about it and I started to realize that it doesn't matter. Enough yo-yoing at different weights, you know how it feels and what pe how the world is at different weights and it's pretty much the same. So, I don't know how long this video is, it's probably going on a little bit, but I just wanna to say to you that you are love and love has no weight. It doesn't have any weight. So just relax yourself and enjoy the fruits you can eat and be thankful that you're not really fat, even though you think you're fat, you're not really fat. And looking and go to Google and type in fat woman and have a look what a fat woman looks like or type in fat man and have a look what a fat man looks like and type in skinny woman and etc. and get an idea of where you're coming from, right? Put yourself, put the perspective on. Slap yourself in the head, wake yourself up. Recognize you're not fat and relax. And this is, the, this is the beautiful part of it, is that if you are fat, genuinely fat like how I was, I don't even think I'm fat so fat anymore now, but how I was, you're gonna lose weight. <laughs> how good is that? And if you're coming here like proper skinny, not, not muscle skinny, but skinny skinny, like calorie restriction damaged skinny, you're gonna put on weight. That's a fact. You can't go from super skinny, eat 5,000 calories and go even more super skinny. That's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. But just know that this is the start of your journey, right? And everything's gonna settle out. So while you're in this process, however it goes for you, whether you're losing weight or gaining weight, whatever it is, this is what you have to manage. You have to relax and enjoy yourself. Go and rub loads of mangoes in your face. If you hear that voice telling you you're fat, <laughs> go and smash on 20 bananas and enjoy it. Right? Just enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. Because this is the liberation and this is where it starts. Enjoying yourself on this diet. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.